Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, you can go to my website at narcsurvivor.co.uk. The narcissistic parent wants you to remain a child forever. They want to keep you in an infantilized state, which is why they treat you in a way which denies your maturity in age and experience. They encourage or even force you to behave like a child, which is very disrespectful. It's dehumanization, the denial of your humanity because they're viewing you as though you lack the mental capacities that are commonly associated with human beings. They debase in your individuality by portraying it as an individual species or an individual object, which is the opposite of personification. They're alienating your human rights and denaturalizing your natural rights because they want you to remain childlike. And you may have recognized this because as you grew older, they displayed hatred and disinclination towards you. And they wanted you to chase them for all of your needs because they wanted to be the supreme authority. They wanted to have the power to make decisions for you and for your life. They wanted to control what happens to you in every situation. But it's not possible to do that with a human being. Because at some point you're going to grow into an adult. Which is why they were opposed to your development. And they began to neglect you. Or they gave you constant insults and put downs. To cause you to return to a childlike state so that they could maintain control over you. The narcissistic parent will treat you like a child, as though you can't be on your own, as though you're not sufficient enough to take care of yourself, when that's not even true. You were more than good enough to become the adult that you needed to be. It's just that it's not what they wanted for you. So instead they made you dependent on them to where you had to rely on them for support, whether it was for food, clothes or money. And the craziest part about it is that even though they purposely and intentionally made you completely dependent on them, they then end up shaming you for that dependency as though you're completely incapable and inadequate and you can't do anything on your own. It's really an act of crazy making because they created the dependency but then they made it out as though you are the problem. They manipulated you by putting you in a lose-lose situation and although they may have made it sound very logical and practical it actually makes no sense and it serves to give options that only benefit your abuser because they're making a psychological attack on you by offering contradictory alternatives and criticizing you for choosing either one because they're abusive and all they're trying to do is convince you that you are defective in some way which is why they will give you a task and intentionally set it up so that you are unsuccessful. They will orchestrate it. They will plan and coordinate the elements of the situation to produce their desired effects. They will deliberately try to make you anxious and they will repeat it again and again to drill in your mind this false idea and belief that something is wrong with you when there's actually nothing wrong at all. And at the same time, they will minimize their actions 
and they will brush it off as though it's something to laugh about, as though it's just a joke. Because they want to leave you feeling insignificant, as though you're not good enough for anything. They want to dominate you. They want to have a commanding influence over you. They want to overlook, rule and control everything that you do. They want to appear much more prominent and important than you are. They want to darken, conceal, obscure, block out and obliterate you. It could be likened to a solar eclipse. They want to be the moon when it positions itself between the earth and the sun so that they can cast a shadow over the earth and then the earth will be in darkness because the view of the sun will be obscured. It will be concealed when it should be on display for everyone to see because the sun was made to shine but they want to confuse and complicate everything. They want to overshadow you. They want to make everything unclear and difficult to understand. And they don't want you to even breathe without their consent. They want to decide everything that you do, whether it's what you eat or what you wear, which leaves you without the necessary qualities and skills to create a fulfilling life that would otherwise come from your natural experience, practice and knowledge because they do not teach you the essential life skills such as critical thinking, communication skills, decision making, creative thinking, relationship skills, self-awareness or how to cope with stress. And instead of letting you experience a normal life, they will constantly overshadow you. And they will do things for you that you're perfectly capable of doing on your own. But at the time you may mistake it as though they're just trying to help you. When in actuality they just fear that if you learn how to be independent then you're going to have your own freedom and you're not going to need them anymore which is not what they want they want to enslave you they want to restrict your freedom because they consider you their property so they will coerce you into into a position of submission and obedience where you are forced to obey their every wish and command while they exploit you for their own personal gain which means that they are your enemy they're extremely harmful to you but they make it seem like they're your friend while they're intending to control you and anyone around you they will condition you for years to depend on them until later in life you feel anxious and insecure. You feel awkward because you may not have the skills that you need to live life. So you struggle to find a partner. You struggle to find a job. You struggle to work with people in general because it feels overwhelming to you. After they made you feel inadequate throughout all of those years of your life, because whenever you try to develop yourself, they shamed you to regress back to the condition that you were before. By calling you selfish and saying that you lack consideration for other people. Or they will make you confide in them everything about your life and then make you feel guilty. And even if you don't confide in them, they will say that you're keeping secrets. Because when you're making your own decisions, they feel insignificant, as though they have no power or influence. So then they see that as abandonment and disrespect, as though you're unappreciative and disobedient. 
because they expect you to feel obligated to feed their ego as though you owe them something just for existing. And the only way they can do that is by restricting your growth, by preventing your development, which eventually leads to you remaining in a child state, even though you are an adult. And they will do this by unnecessarily saying or doing something that is rude and insulting. Such as demanding that you put all of your money into their account so that they can keep it safe for you. Or they will shower you even when you're an adult and dry you with a towel after you're done. While acting as though it's because they care for you. When the truth is that they don't want to let you grow because they fear your freedom. They fear that loss of control. So whenever you try to disengage, they will pull you back in. Where you're less important, submissive, obedient and compliant. And being controlled because they guilt trip you. They manipulate your behaviour by causing feelings of guilt. As though you have committed a wrongdoing or offence. When it's just because they recognise your empathic abilities which they then use as a means of controlling you and keeping you subservient to them because they want you to remain a child forever. They want you to be focused on them. They want to keep you in a state where you have to beg and plead for morsels of their compliance and attention because in their minds they are superior to you so they expect you to praise and admire them. They can't accept you being distracted by other things, whether it's your physical well-being or your emotional needs, because you're nothing but an extension of them. In their minds you exist to serve them. You exist solely for their pleasure and enjoyment, for their amusement and entertainment, even while they are extremely harmful and Mm. unpleasant to you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you soon.